Mm. It's really good. We're going on a treasure hunt for strange and mysterious food. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm super excited for today's episode because today we're making ice cream. But I can't eat ice cream. Don't worry Tess, I'll program you so you can eat ice cream. Yay! So for the ice cream, we're gonna need 3 fourths cup of milk, one cup heavy whipping cream, one fourth cup of cocoa powder, and one half cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now we're gonna mix it all up in this bowl, and this is gonna create the batter for our ice cream. And then after we make this, we are going to freeze it. Now I'm making chocolate ice cream today, but if you want a different flavor, you can use a different recipe for your own. So we're gonna use a half teaspoon and we're gonna measure that out. And there you go. Now we're gonna whisk it until all the ingredients are completely combined. Make sure and scrape all the ingredients off the sides and fold it back into your batter. The cocoa powder is a bit liquid resistant, so don't be alarmed if it doesn't immediately mix in. So now that we have our batter made, we're gonna begin to assemble our freezing contraption. We're gonna start with just a plain paper towel and we're gonna fold this in half and then we're going to get a little bit of water and pour that on there so that our pan stays in place. There we go. And this is to ensure that there's no movement at all from this. Make sure you're wearing gloves for this so that you don't get burns. And make sure you have parent supervision because we're going to get dry ice. The secret ingredient. What, 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 what? Science time! This is made out of CO2 that's frozen. And the reason why it's called dry ice is because it turns straight from a solid to a gas without becoming liquid. Ice cream has fat molecules and sugar molecules dissolved into it. And that stuff is really hard to freeze. So it has to be extremely cold. And this dry ice is negative 109 degrees. Whoa. Next, we're going to put a metal skillet on top of the dry ice. The dry ice is slippery, so we'll put down a towel so the skillet doesn't move around. The dry towel, though, is a good insulator. That means it would keep the heat in our skillet from transferring to the dry ice. If we get the towel wet, though, it will transfer heat better, and the skillet will get colder faster. We're going to use rubbing alcohol because rubbing alcohol is very hard to freeze and if we use water it would just freeze over and it wouldn't work. This won't freeze over and when you put it on the towel it conducts the cold air so that it freezes our ice cream. So we're gonna pour a good lot of that on top of our towel. There we go. Now we've got a lot of that on our towel, so it soaks all the way through till it reaches the dry ice. Now we're gonna get a cast iron skillet and place that on top of the alcohol. Now we're gonna wait for this to get a little bit cold and that'll only take a couple minutes. Science! Okay, so it's been about five minutes and this pan is really cold. So we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna pour it right on. There we go. And I have these chisels. They're not exactly intended for ice cream. If you wanna find these chisels that I'm using to make this ice cream, you can find them at pretty much any hardware store. They're called putty knives. I'm just gonna use this to move the ice cream around so that it gets cold really fast. Make sure to keep it moving but let it rest sometimes. We just want the top of the ice cream to get the coldness from the bottom of the pan. So move it, let it rest, move it, let it rest. But don't let it rest for too long because then it'll freeze to the bottom of the pan. So this is starting to get colder and this process takes about five to 10 minutes for it to turn completely into ice cream, depending on how much batter you pour onto the cast iron skillet. Okay, now that looks like ice cream. So I'm gonna grab a bowl and spoon and I'm just going to grab this and scrape it onto here. And now 
I get to taste test it. Taste time! Let's try it. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. It's really good. It's better than the ice cream you get at other places because it's homemade and it's really easy to make too. And it's super creamy and sweet. Mm. I'm obsessed. It's so good. Tess, I can't wait till we get you programmed to eat ice cream. Me neither. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to try this, the recipe is down in the description. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of our videos. Comment down below what flavor you would make your ice cream. Thanks for watching. Bye.